Um, what I'm looking at is the 74HC229, which is an 8-bit shift register with a three-state output. And the reason that I'm looking at it is nothing to do with the shift register function at all, because I'm not that interested in that. What I want to do is be able to store an 8-bit number in the shift register um, and then display it on this LED display that I've got here. Now this is a 10-way LED display, but I'm only using the rightmost eight LEDs. And I've linked it up to uh, a, a SIL, um, I think it's 330 ohm resistor pack there. So a single in-line pack of eight resistors with a common ground on the right side, which is just slightly skewed off from the um, LEDs. So you've got eight LEDs powered here. In fact, let me show you that. If I put power to one of those LEDs, um, we can light them up. There they are. What is that doing too? And um, they're also linked up to the um, inputs and the outputs of the, of the register. So my hope is that I can turn on some of the lines into the register, store the value in the register, disconnect the lines going in and leave the value stored in the register and then display it on this LED here. This is just a, um, an eight-way cable to help me plug in um, the, um, the lines to power and ground. So I'm kind of working it like a register that would be on a an address bus, uh, sorry, on a data bus in a in a computer. So what I want to do then is apply power, let's say, to those two um, values there. So that's that's the that's data bits naught and one on my register. And now I need to clock. Well, I've got a clock actually ticking away on this um, uh, on my Arduino Uno. So I've got my Uno connected up here. It's providing the five volts power. Um, so I'm, I'm stealing the power on the ground off of the Uno uh, here, and I've got the clock ticking away in the background. Uh, and I'm applying this into the into the register, and I don't actually know how to store that value in there. So let's take a look on the data sheet. Um, and it seems reasonably straightforward. So this shift register looks like this. It's got, the bit that I'm interested in is the, um, the three state output so that it can connect to a bus and the register itself. I'm not gonna be probably shifting it in any way. All you need to do is to output enable it with these two output enable um, active low switches here, which I've got turned on. So that's pins two and three on my register. So I've got those connected together and I've got a wire coming from those to take them. Actually, I've got them connected to ground, haven't I? Yeah, uh, active low, yes, that's correct. So I've currently got those coming, that's outputting whatever's in the register to the LEDs. Um, and then there's a clock pulse. And there's two lines to control what it does, S0 and S1. And S0 and S1, according to this diagram here, uh, if S0 and S1 are high and the clock pulse is rising, this should load into the register. And if S0 and S1 are low, the value should be held. Hmm. So if I take S0 and S1 high, which is this, the clock has definitely gone high. Then I bring it back to low again and disconnect the values I'm forcing in. Ooh, that worked. Uh-huh.